Okay, so for applications of these arithmetic sequences, we basically have to figure out two things. We want to know, is it asking us, is it asking us um, kind of uh, a question where we want to find one of the general terms? Is, is, is it, um, it going to be a question where we want to find out, say, the 20th term of the sequence? Or is it going to be something to do with the sum? All right? So these are the two notes we've done so far. And we have to determine, basically, which formula am I going to be using here? Am I going to be using the sum formula um, or the general term formula? All right? So that's basically what these application problems are all about. Once I determine which formula to use, I just substitute the values in and try to solve. Okay? Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So he buys a car. Here's the initial reading. Uh, uh, after 60 days, he wants to end the reading after 60 days if he drives an average of 25 kilometers per day. So we have to ask ourselves, is this a sum problem or is it I want to find the value of a certain term problem? Okay, well... Find the reading after 60 days. Um, that means we know this. Um, we know we know the first term of the sequence is going to be 40,350, and we know that each day, each day, uh, he drives about 25k. Okay, so the second term of that sequence would be. Second day would be 40,375. Third term, the third day, um, 25 more. Okay? And we're asking is on that 60th day, what will the odometer read? So that is, I'm saying dot, dot, dot. I want to know what the reading is going to be on that 60th day. Because that's not a sum problem, because if it were a sum problem, the number would be, be massive. So what is that reading going to be on that 60th day? So here's our formula. Let's write down the important bits. First term, 40,350. Uh, the common difference, that's 25 every day. It's going up 25. Common difference is 25. N is which term I want. I want the 60th term. Okay. So this just turns into a matter of substitution. This is saying uh, the 60 term is going to be 40,350 plus 60 minus 1 times my common difference, which is 25. So the 60th term is going to be, I'm just rewriting it, showing all the steps, is going to be 40,350 plus 59 times 25. And now it's calculator time. Okay, so the 60th term of that sequence would be 41,825, which would be, what, Howard's uh, odometer reading on that day. Okay, let's look at another example here and see how we do with it. So, this problem. First up, we go, okay, is it an arithmetic sequence? Uh, uh, dollar twenty the first month, two seventy-five the second month, 433rd month, does it have a common difference? Does it have a, a common difference here? Um, it does. I think it's going up by a certain amount each time. It's going up by a buck fifty-five. Okay. So it is a it is an arithmetic sequence. 430 minus 275 is 155. 275 minus 120 is 155. So we got that. All right, what about the first term? That's 120. I'll leave the dollar signs out for the problem. Um, Okay, calculate the total interest. Total interest, that means it's going to be a sum, sum problems. I want to find the sum of the first 75 months of interest I'm going to get. So I'm using this formula right here. Okay, so N equals 75, and the sum of those first 75 months equals what? So let's get our formula down. Okay, there's our sum formula, sum of the first N terms. Okay, so from here it turns into a substitution problem because I'm given everything on this side of the formula. And I want to know uh, the sum of the first 75 terms is going to be 
75 divided by 2 times uh, 2 times the first term. I'll just write it as 1.2. I don't need that 0 there, do I? No. Uh, plus n minus 1. Can I just say 74? I'm going to say 74 times my common difference of 155. Now, this step we can do all on the calculator as well. Um, but I'll just clean it up into two steps, half of half of 75. I clean all this up inside the brackets, and I get a value for that. So I get 117.1 inside the brackets. So after 75 months, after 75 months, uh, this person will have earned a lot of interest. Okay, so after 75 months, they will have earned $4,391.00. 25 cents, that's all the 75 terms added together. And, um, of course, in New Zealand, that interest would be taxed at 20%, so they wouldn't make all of that interest, because that counts as income, and the government would tax it. Okay, so that's it for now. Now it's practice time.